forget. Continuously while you're in there, all you hear is never forget. And so, for me, I want to share with you how I view this entire election. I don't, there is a whole lot at stake. More than anything, and it's been said, it is our absolute freedom period. How do they make America great again? How did they see when, what period of time was America great? When we were in shackles. Yeah. When we were picking cotton and uh, taking care of their children. And we had no say on where we went, what we ate, what we wore, or what we did. And so this is a ploy to take us way back. Yeah. And so it's more than just reproductive rights. It's more than just shutting down our educational system. It is about taking us back to slavery in its real sense. And so I just get confused to watch us as a people arguing bigger and gravel over this subject and that subject when the totality of it all is to take us back to slavery. What we must do is talk to our people about going back to slavery. When they tell us that you can't go across the street, you have to stay there or pull us out of our homes and separate us from our babies. I don't understand us. Why can't we see what's coming down the pipe? Stop bickering about the little stuff. It's not little in terms of it in itself, but it is not the major issue on the table. They are trying to take us back to slavery. I need you guys to wake up. We've got to tell the real story. We have to tell our children the real story. Do you want to be in chains again? Huh? We need to tell them what we need them to do, but we need to tell them why. All of this stuff we're talking about is important, but it's not the main issue. In 2025, that book, that project, project <laughs> it is to take us back to slavery. Come on, people, let's not forget. Let's not forget. Let's not forget where we come from. God bless us.